How did Harumi, out of all people, manage to return in the upcoming Ninjago season? Let's talk about it. Long gone are the days where the community was torn on Harumi's character. You know, probably the most polarizing character in all of Ninjago. And yet, here we are. <laughs> We've seen Harumi actually is returning in these upcoming crystallized sets, so it is only safe to say that we will most likely get to see her in the show. But how is that possible? I mean, she had a very suitable ending at the end of Ninjago Season 9, Hunted. How does this all fit into play? Let's think about it. The last time we actually got to see Harumi on the big screen for Ninjago was in Season 12 Prime Empire, but she wasn't really herself. She was in fact a figment of the video game imagination and not a real character. I think that's one of the keys into understanding how Harumi might actually be able to return in the upcoming season. Now I'm going to be pursuing different avenues of how her arrival makes sense. There are multiple different reasons as to why I think she might actually be able to return. Obviously only one of these ways is going to be factual and actually taking place in the series. But just like a set of different math equations, they all come out to the same response, the same answer. And that's the fact that Harumi is returning in this season. So the when and the how doesn't really matter because at the end of the day you're going to get the same result. So let's talk about it. We have, of course, Harumi returning this season and another familiar cast member as well being the mechanic. Now, I think that this is a very important detail that nobody is really focusing on because out of all the villains that the Ninjago people could have chosen to bring back into the series, they chose the mechanic. And obviously, I am down for that because I do honestly enjoy his character, but he is not the most iconic Ninjago villain by far and there are definitely other Ninjago villains they could have brought back this season but chose not to. Why is that? I personally believe that the mechanic does have a tie into how Harumi is going to return this season and the reason why I say that is because the mechanic was Nagami's right hand man during the season of Prime Empire and he essentially was making sure that everything was going smoothly in terms of taking the these people from Ninjago and converting them into video game characters. Now, if I was the mechanic and I was being brought back this season, I would kind of want to try my best in aiding the Overlord, or in this case, the Crystal King, and helping him truly defeat Lloyd, because Lloyd is honestly the only stopping force that prevents the Overlord from truly being safe in Ninjago. And I'm going to have another deep video talking about how the Overlord might possibly be returning as well later on this week possibly. But I do think it's important to note that if I was the mechanic, I would probably do everything I could to help the Overlord crush Lloyd once and for all, because Lloyd is the only ninja who possibly possesses any ability to hinder the Overlord in his conquest of Ninjago. So for that reason, I'd try to pull an ace out of my sleeve. And in this case, I'd probably want to go into that digital video game that Unagami was controlling and bring back a specific online character. Now, in this theory scenario, it would probably make sense that Harumi would return, but she wouldn't be her normal Harumi self, she would obviously be that video game character simply brought to life. We would see a process similar to that of when the ninja would get sucked into the video game and we would obviously have to see Harumi have that reverse process where she would get sucked out of the video game and into real life Ninjago. So it could possibly make sense that there is a tie between the mechanic and Harumi's return. However, I do also want to present you guys with another kind of possible avenue, a more likely scenario into how Harumi does return, and that has to do with this screenshot right here, where we get to see this mysterious blue-masked warrior, and 
And at first, it doesn't really make sense because we haven't seen this character at all in any of the previous Ninjago seasons. However, it does remind me a lot of a couple of episodes from Avatar The Last Airbender. And in this case, we had Prince Zuko, who was the Fire Prince, and Avatar Ong's, or Ang's, depending on whatever the hell you watched, um, Nemesis. And he actually decided to disguise himself and help Avatar Aang in breaking out of whatever high maintenance security he, uh, prison he was in. And <laughs> coincidentally, the, all the ninja are also going into prison this season, which I think just makes perfect sense for this blue masked warrior to somehow have been Harumi and she will be helping the ninja break out of prison. That is my theory. Now, obviously this doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I want to make my claim here. Now, obviously we all know in Ninjago, not everyone stays dead forever. Sometimes, some people, they're going to come back to life. And in this case, I think it's safe to say one of those people is actually Harumi, right? The writers are probably going to find a way to describe all this and make sense out of this. And she returns and helps rescue the ninja because she realizes her grave mistake and she realizes that in the end, Lloyd was only trying to help her in that last realization before the building did in fact collapse, and it was presumably the end of Harumi. However, this does not explain how she would be evil in fighting against the ninja this season. Now, as I previously mentioned, uh, Harumi is a pretty substantial character because she is the one weakness that Lloyd possibly would have in a battle against the Overlord or the Crystal King. So I think it would be in the best interest of the Crystal King to sort of control her. And the easiest way that this would be possible is with, of course, mind control or turning her into some kind of mindless zombie. And we get a little clue into this with the set descriptions of the upcoming coming wave of Ninjago, where it does say that the ninja have to stop this new threat, or else the people of Ninjago will be turning into zombies. So I definitely think that there's something fishy going on, and the Overlord is mainly responsible for the return of Harumi. However, these are both scenarios and both options that I've come up with today. I'd love to hear what you guys think down below in the comments section. Do you guys agree with what I had to say? And if not, let me know what you guys think about Harumi coming back and how how do you think she's going to be coming back most importantly? Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.